Hey guys, welcome back to Cine Topical. My name's Nate, here again with Dylan. The strangest of wings. Strange wing. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I was going to call you that. You didn't give me a chance. Anyways, today he's going to do his top 10 favorite movie characters of all time. Out of all the movie characters, he's going to pick 10 that are his favorite. Just 10. Yeah. But before that... Well, the character that's... More, more than likely you'll be on the list. Rocky, you can win the digital download code. What a boring Go to the last top five video we did. Eyes above his head. And uh, come back to this one and tell me what my number one was on that list. And subscribe to the channel. And send us your uh, Instagram, Twitter, whatever uh, your fix is. We'll send you the code. Right? Yeah, go for it. Right, my number ten is going to be... Desiree and Desiree Rise Again, James Stewart Western from like the 40s or 30s. Probably never seen it, right? Okay. Yeah. He's just like really charismatic and uh, he's really a good person, surprisingly. He made my list. But uh, yeah, he's just, his dad was like killed. He was like the sheriff, like one of the best marshals, the sheriffs of all time. Yeah. And you know, like son just like him, just shoot like anything, mm -hmm. any target, and great aim. And uh, he just doesn't like violence because his dad died from a gun. Mm -hmm. So, like, he's the sheriff of this town, but he doesn't like violence and he won't show violence, you know? Okay, and, like, he's, he's a pacifist. A, yeah. yeah. And he's really slick. And, like, he knows he can, like, kill you anytime. Right. But he's just, like, really slick. He's really humble. He has this, like, gimmick of, like, when you tell him something, he's like, well, I knew a guy. He, uh, <laughs> he's, he's a great character. One of James Stewart's best characters. He's. If we had to make an actor's list, he's definitely one or two on that list for me. Love James Stewart. Huh. Um, number eight, number nine, is uh, Scarecrow from The Wizard of Oz. Oh, I thought you were going uh, Batman Begins. No, because Scarecrow from Wizard of Oz, he's always looking to get some brain. My kind of guy. Number eight is Patrick Bateman from American Psycho. Uh, dude's fucking insane. His performance, Christian Bell's performance in this movie is complete lunacy. He's pretty nuts. Uh, he goes around killing, killing prostitutes. Mm -hmm. Don't just look at it. Eat it. Like, there's some phenomenal lines on here. There's really good lines. Uh, <laughs> he's my favorite serial killer, so I like serial killer movies and stuff, so. That's why I made the list. Another scumbag at my number seven. Alex DeLarge. Kind of the same thing. Does what he wants to. He does what he does because it makes him happy. He goes around stealing shit. He has a, like a whole drawer of like valuables. That he but does it really make him happy? The violence and stuff, yes. But the his like he steals money and throws it into a drawer. Like it doesn't mean anything to him. Yeah, he loves music. You know, he loves the arts. He's just like a really dope character, even though he does a lot of bad shit. No. And that's why I like him. Oh my god. Great taste in clothing. It's uh, cool close. My number six is also a scumbag, surprisingly. You should cut your hair like his. No. Yeah. No. Do it. Uh, like I said, my number six. Uh, I'm only going to say his name once. It's in Beetlejuice. Yeah, we don't, definitely don't want him showing up. Michael Keaton in this movie is phenomenal. Yeah, all ten minutes we get of him. Yeah, great scumbag. He has phenomenal lines. He's great. If you can tell, like, throughout my list, you have good lines <coughs> and that are scummy, you're probably going to make my list. Uh, he used to say it's the most lunacy stuff. Now this is kind of rape, because he tries to like marry like a fourteen-year-old. But statutory, yes. Yeah. No, she ain't down with it. But yeah, he's just a uh, manipulating, funny character. Yeah, he's extremely manipulative, but also hilarious. Down to the meat and potatoes of the list, number five, Tony Montana. He's a gangster word, uh, moles, or however you say that word. Uh, he, he's a, he's a thug, you know, he goes around killing people, and, uh, but he has a heart. A little overrated in my opinion, but... Yeah, great fucking character. Uh, again, very quotable, he has some great lines, he only, uh, has two things in this world, his, uh, words and his balls, he don't break it for nobody. Chico. Go fucking cockroach. Go fucking cockroach. Go fucking cockroach. That accent, too. What a great accent. Yeah. Makes me wish I was Cuban and not Italian. God, I'm really glad you know. 
Not that there's anything wrong with Cubans, but they like would, you would be really annoying. These videos would be even better. He's alright. No. <laughs> so that's my number five. Uh, Tony Montana. I kind of see myself in him. How? My number four, Sonny from a Bronx Cell. Okay, we'll ignore once, that. Once again, kind of the same thing. He's a gangster with some morals. Um, one of the first times you see the guy, he shoots a guy like three or four times. Because over a parking space. But yeah, he's a very smart guy. Uh, he has an attractive lifestyle, which, like, watching this movie growing up, I was like, I want to be like this guy. Uh, but he knows he, he's got a messed up lifestyle, and that's not going anywhere. And he knows that. And he's very smart. He teaches a kid something. So, good role model, Sonny. No, he's not a good role model. He's a great role model. No, he's a terrible role model. Number three is Tyler Durden from great, Fight Club. Yeah, great pick. Another great role model. No. Like, if I could be this all. guy for, like, one day, I would. Well, that would be fun. You give me the fucking rubber kitchen glove, and it's just like, let me go to the world and fuck some shit up. I would do it. That kitchen glove's underrated. <laughs> I'm going to buy some. It's going to be in our next video. Big fan of the kitchen glove. I'm gonna call you Dexter. And uh yeah, he's just like From Dexter's lab. <laughs> he's really rebellious. Uh great wardrobe. Yeah, it is dressed nice, so uh, big fan. Yeah. So uh his lines, again, very quotable. A big one for me. You gotta have good lines. Mm -hmm. His philosophy on life, even though it's to the extreme in the film, it's a good philosophy to go by. Just don't blow up any Starbucks. Just don't buy any coffee from there. That's all you gotta do. That's a phone vibrating. My number two is, uh, again, from a Bronx cell, very personal to me, Colangino. The kid that Sonny teaches all this gangsta shit to. Like, kind of my situation. Go watch your top ten favorite movies and you can find out why I love that movie. Out above my head. But, however, he's just, like, he's torn between, like, two lives. A life he wants and a life that he should be living. And this is really dope. He learned some really dope shit. Like, yeah, you guys got twenty dollars, but he's out your life forever. Good. That's not a bad lesson. Good stuff. Yeah. And he finds out what's important in life and learns a lot of good life lessons. So, the most personal character on this list to me is my number two, Clonjano from Bronx Tale. My number one, you can win a digital download code to. That's Rocky Balboa. Uh, he's a Great character. He has really good morals in the film. You never seen the movie. Don't shake your head. He's an underdog. He's like everybody, but he's a little bit better because he's a good person. In West Philadelphia, a bunch of scumbags there, and he's a good. He's a good person. But yeah, like you see the good in him. You see how he is with Adrian. How he is with Polly. You know, Polly pushes him to the limits. How he's still a stand-up guy to Apollo. And like he treats everyone with respect. What you see is insecurities. And like that really comes as a fighter, as a boxer, as a dad, as a husband. You see so much depth in this, depth in this character throughout the all uh, eight movies, seven movies, where we're at now. And you still see a character arc and grow. And like you see him as his best, his worst, in the middle, with his son, with his wife. You get so many dimensions with the character. And it's a phenomenal character. A great character study on a fighter. A uh, poor man, gone rich. Uh, phenomenal. Greatest movie character of all time. He doesn't want to say the movie. He doesn't want to say whore in the movie. A great guy. You've never seen the movie, so you can't. He's very ignorant to uh, good cinema. But, uh. Please. This is a uh, cinematopical. And I'm Strange Wang, this is my top five, top ten favorite movie characters of all time. And uh, go watch his top ten favorite movie characters of all time also. Take it away, Captain Blue Alabama. That's it. Like and subscribe to the channel. All red plaid shirt, spinning ass jeans on. Them goons at your front door, choppers out, ding dong. Didn't I change the game and put my motherfucking team on? I let my chopper ring. Blocka is my ringtone. Fuck you, ho ass niggas. I get money and get overhauls. We hold court with them heaters. Pop, case open, closed.